Hello, welcome to this lesson of our study of fluid dynamics. So, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, kindly subscribe for more videos. All right, let's start. So, this video will go through what is known and meant by flow visualization. All right, so let's start. So, in a flow visualization, I'll take you through three of them. Okay, how we can visualize flow. Okay, we can visualize visualize it as um, a path line, streamline or straight line. So they will come as I'm mentioning them. Okay, so the first one is what we meant or what we mean by path line. Okay, this one. And we are saying that a path line is a line traced out by a given particle as it flows. Okay, so let's say um, I have one particle. Say the particle is this. Okay. And let's say as time t naught, where the fluid is flowing, one particle, particle, one particle of the flow or the fluid. Okay, I take it out and then I want to know. Let's say if this is time t naught at time t one, I want to know it line that it has traveled or the line that has covered at that time when I move from here to here. Okay. That same particle, it doesn't change. Then when you move from this point to this point, okay, if you want to know how it has traveled or where it is at that point, that is what we call the path line. We're just tracing a path, it is being moving. Just one particle of the fluid, okay? So you see that it is a line traced out by a given particle as a fluid flows. Let me put it that way, okay? So it's just a single particle like that. Okay, let's move on to the next flow visualization. And you can see now this whole concept is that you are just view or visualizing the flow as one particle is just moving like that, one particle of the fluid, okay? So let's move on to the next one. Now we have something like called streamline, okay? The streamline displays a snapshot of the entire flow field at a single instant in time. Now this is what this means. Let's say um, I have um, the whole fluid like this, okay, and the fluid is supposed to flow. This is the starting point at time t naught, okay. One particle of the fluid will flow this way. Let's say another particle will flow this way. Another particle will flow this way as well. Then, if I want to visualize them together as they are all flowing like this, okay, I just want to visualize them going together okay this is how the flow is like okay this like that this one to come like that all of them like that okay then i want to visualize them as they are moving together then this is what we mean by the streamline okay so a streamline is somehow like um combining many path lines okay that is how you can you can relate to streamlines okay and with streamlines, um, at some point T1, okay, we can find a relation between, let's say, particle 1 here and particle 2. Okay, the distance between them or something like that, okay. Mind you, or keep it in mind that all these that we are doing, they have their mathematical relations, okay. We'll talk about them after this lesson. Okay, we'll talk about how to derive the formulas and stuff, okay. So just this video is to explain to you how you can visualize flow. Okay, so as as let's say um the fluid is flowing, we can be visualizing the particles like that as they are all moving like this, like this, like this. Okay, let's say this is one for one particle. This is for one particle. This is for one particle. This is for one particle. Now as we are visualizing them like this, this is what we call the streamline. All of them, all of the particles together. Okay. One note you have to put in mind is that streamlines do not cross each other, okay? So keep this in mind. They do not cross each other. Streamline for streamline, they do not cross each other. All right, so let's move on to the next one. The next one is streak lines. Now, as I've said it here, Street lines actually combine both parallel lines and sorry, it's supposed to be 
streamlines here okay here is supposed to be streamlined so it's supposed to be um streamlines okay let me put it back streamline okay so it's a combination of the two when you combine path lines and streamline and get what you call a strict lines okay now with the strict lines like i've written here it does what we call reference frames okay so um you just look at one particle at the same time looking at how the fluid are also moving together okay so it's in some ways like in a plane way okay so let's see if i have um, a plane like this i'm just trying to visualize i see the whole fluid is moving in one direction but at the same time what are the movement of all the particles in it okay so in some other extent that's what we mean by strict line when we say that strict line is a combination of both path lines and what we call um, stream lines okay all right so let's try to um, talk about the reference frames have a brief discussion about them and then in the next discussion or in the next lesson we'll talk about the formulas okay so we have two reference frames that we'll talk about first one the lagrangian frame and then the lagrangian frame the observer follows fluid the fluid parcel or particle as it moves and take measurement of it okay so let's say if i want to take um measurement of some fluid particle if i want to do that then what i have to do is um i have to in a reference frame called the lagrangian this one i have to make sure that i'm following every particle that or the particle of the fluid parcel okay or the fluid particles and taking my measurement at any point in time okay so let's say i have um, this frame here okay so i have this frame here okay and at time t not let's say nothing has happened this is where where at t not okay then at time t1 i have to follow it if the fluid is moving or the fluid particle is moving from this point to let's say t1 then i have to follow it like that okay to t1 then if it moves from t1 to let's say another t2 then i have to follow it like that so i'll be following it and taking my measurement at any any point in time okay so you do that in a 3d way okay in in real life everything is in 3d okay so um let me put my x here let's say my y and z here this is my xyz component and what i can do is that i have to make sure that like i said whatever or wherever the fluid particle goes i follow it and this is what we call the lagrangian frame okay this frame is what you call the lagrangian frame let's look at the last frame and then in our next discussion like i said we will discuss about the formulas or the mathematical relations in all these um flow visualizations okay so with the olorian system this is also another frame okay that we are talking under strict lines so this one we use coordinate system first in space okay so this is what we mean let's say uh, we put um, a recorder or measurement scale somewhere let's say i have the space to be this okay and let's say this is my point of coordinates okay let's say this that and um, I've, i know the measurement here okay so the coordinate this these ones are faced and the fluid particles will be moving towards it okay the fluid particles will be moving towards it so whenever they reach there i can teach my my measurement that just like that okay so when the fluid particle reaches there i take my measurement and that will be it i hope you understand this okay so this is what we call the olerian system so you just a first coordinate and you are using it as your reference okay now let's talk about this very small thing when our flow that we are considering is steady all of the discussions we discussed about path line streamline strict line they are all different because we are considering on steady flow if the fluid is steady or the flow phenomenon is steady then the path lines in the flow flow should be the same as the streamlines 
and it should be the same as the streak lines okay all right so 